Oh my goodness, I'm scared of this, but we should flip against Ace-Queen and Ace-Queen for that bounty. Oh my god. We're all in with the jacks. Ace-King and King-Queen, they block each other. Keep it clean, that's an ace on the flop. Oh, let's go, baby, double knockout. We are live, welcome back. Hope you guys had a wonderful Sunday. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Four tables up. Top left, we're off to a great start in a couple turns. $11 Turbo Progressive Super Knockout. We're off to a great start here with double start in stack. We want to flip Queens versus Ace King. Uh, here in the Hot 750, already up to 5K, which is pretty cool. We just jumped in the 1350 Knockout over here, still pre ante. And over here, 550 Bounty Builder. We just jumped in. We have 14 big blinds. A lot of people say in there have a feeling that we're going to win something today. I mean, let, let's hope that's the most optimistic thing. Of course, we should be prepared for failure. Most of the time, we're going to lose playing MTTs. Let's prepare for success. Um, but not expect it. Or is that the right way? Or should we expect six six? I don't know. I don't know what we should do, but we should just plan on winning today and playing our best poker. We see an open. We have him covered for a bounty. Let's go get it with the two tens. Wait in a couple seconds. Good luck in the 550 bounty builder. Oh yeah, splits splits the middle. All right, we're already up for a dollar twenty-five. Good start there. Twenty-five big blinds and a booty. Up here we're getting a fantastic price, three to one with a pretty good hand on the button. Sometimes we're dominated, but I think we can call just with the smaller size. And so we're all in down here. Good luck. Oh my goodness, that's a good flop. We might have just gotten there. Ace Jack's no good, and we're ahead of 10 9. Can we hold? Brick on the river. Uh, it's a 9. No, we did not hold, unfortunately. GG 550 Bounty Builder. But up here, we kind of flopped the nizzles. Just going to call. We might have cracked queens here. That's what it feels like. Oh, or we could crack aces as well. Let's go. All right. We busted one, but we just got a big bounty in the $11. That's perfectly fine. Today, one year ago, you and Peely kissed for the first time in the hot tub. Happy anniversary. That's a little bit creepy, but I kind of. <laughs> I didn't even know that that was one year today. Seven big blind shove. I mean, good luck with the ace king here. Hey, Peely. Yeah. Apparently today was the first day that we kissed. I just got informed by a Twitch chat. Do you want to play split deck totally this morning? That's really weird play, that people you know that. And <laughs> I don't even know that. Me neither. Do you want to play spin the bottle tonight? I mean, uh... Can we have a kiss? We don't need uh, the bottle to make me do that. Ace king! It's not a good flop. We do have a small... Uh, do we have a side pot? I don't even think so. No, they scoop it all. I mean, we're not we're not folding, you guys. He could be isolating life here for this guy's bounty. Uh, we cover him for a bounty. We cover this guy for a bounty. All right, we are flipping for a bounty. That's a great start. That's a great turn. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Five dollars to my Poker Stars account. All jokes aside, how did someone know when Kevin and Peely first kissed? Because the first time that we kissed was on uh, Big Brother Canada. Queens in the big blind. 434 left in the hot 750. We have to play a big pot here. What's the reason you raise odd numbers on your bet size? Just a purely style thing. Jake Carver puts like 420 on the end of his bets. I just like going odd numbers. Because I'm an odd duckling. All right, there is that re so you guys. Big pot with the queens. They have kings. That's pretty unlucky. Can we catch a queen? No, we can't. 9.5 bigs up here. We're in the money. $10 locked up. Unfortunately, we're very short. We also got $17 in bounties. Ripped it. Man, I thought we were... You pick up queens in the hot 750, you just have dollar signs in your eyes. But they had kings. Oh my god. The gift. We have a big bounty on our head. It's, he's always calling, so we might as well just shove. Eight away from a pay jump. I mean, it's like a micro pay jump. But. All right, we're all in. Pretty good flop. Again, we're not slow rolling. I kind of want that cheeky... Uh... Come on, just take up. It's only 80 cents. Call. We're ahead 80%. We should get punished for kind of slow rolling him like that. But we hold. Let's go. Is that a slow roll? I just wanted the mini pay jump. I mean, I play the big 440. That's, that's, I, I don't, I feel dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I do, I do confess that that was a little bit unclassy. Kevin Martin officially apologizes for being a nit bitch in the $11 Turbo Progress Off Super Knockout. I do not want to be a nit bitch, and that was the definition of being a nit bitch. This guy's opening pretty wide here. I think Ace 8's a go with it, you guys. He's opening in the hijack. I don't see how we fold ace eight here. We're beating a lot of their broadways. We're beating some aces. He beats us with his aces, but I'm pretty sure this is just a gamble. Calls. All right, we have 57%. We have 0.3% and we're 0%. No. Tens here, big 440. Awesome flop here for the tens. Let's bet 14K. That's a freaking creepy picture. It's like a demented toy staring at you. I hate it. I'm going to block it. 
poker, you're supposed to be relaxed. You're supposed to be enjoying the game. But that was just to show you what it was again. Look at that. That's freaking creepy. Couple of jacks. This is where we need to win a big pot. You don't get these big hands very often. Let's 2.23 from early position. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. He has two nines. He's thinking he's pretty strong. It's not close. We call Queen 10. Queen 10? Hold. Let's go, Queen 10. Nice. I, I love the big 440. Why does he just play? Like, why? Why does he play three hours and then just decide that the Queen 10 12 big blind reshove is? Because, you know, people just don't care that much, I guess. All right. This is my house. Nobody's in the living room right now. Someone left hot sauce on the table, unfortunately. Let's watch Matt put away the hot sauce. There he is. I play this tournament every single night that I stream, and I have almost, I mean, I got 12th in it one time, but historically, my results in this specific tournament are terrible. All right, we see a raid or a jam. Call, call. This is the perfect spot to get back in this tournament. Uh, big side pot here. King Jack, we're way ahead. We're just fading. Okay, they flopped the nuts. We flopped a set. What is going on? We went, we got a full house. Okay, we got a full house. <laughs> no, they... <laughs> Jump over to the nightly 55. We have uh, two overs and a flush draw. We see our raise call. We decided to call. We're in position with a king high flush draw. I like it. All right. We see a pot size bet. I mean, we're definitely calling in position. Not a great turn card. They check. Do I stab now? And the answer is yeah. Let's be aggressive. We have two overs and a flush draw. Let's stab. When he checks, I think he has nothing. This guy could definitely have like a seven that we could get to fold. Frick it, let's take the let's take the free card. This is not a good card to rep. I just changed my mind right in the middle. Spade ball, we have a king high flush. They bet 525. Don't want to jam. I think a small flush might get away from it because they just have so many big blinds. <laughs> I mean, we're calling. They can do this with worse flushes, but this might be a sick cooler, obviously. Oh, man. Kmart Busto in the chat. That didn't go well at all. That didn't go well at all. We're all in with the sixes with 10 bigs. Gonna be a profitable shove. Uh, Mr. House reshoves here with 29 big blinds. Hopefully we're not dominated. Mm, looking for a suck out. A lot of outs. Ah, as we bust the big 27 there. So yeah, starting stack, starting stack, and starting stack. And 55 bounty builder. I'm jumping in it right now. Oh my god. King's in the small blind. How can we get 150 bigs in pre against Jax? Unknown Clown raises. Can we get in 150 bigs here and be happy about it? Yeah, I think so. They just peel. Oh, pretty awful flop. What do we beat now? <laughs> oh, no. All right, we're a little more happy now. Now we lose to 10x. What a weird hand this is. I still think we check. What's the point of betting here? We're only going to own ourselves against 10x. I think they're betting us straight on the turn. Now can I go for some thin value from Asex? I feel like I'm going to bet fold this river now. I'll just be shocked if they check back at 10 on the turn. That would be very, very surprising to me. Just going for some thin value from a two pair, an ace jack, an ace queen, and fold into a raise. I don't think they're raising this board. Anything. Did we get looked up there? They paid us off with two nines. What do they beat? What is one hand that they beat? They beat eights and sevens and sixes. We're calling here for the bounty with any two of you guys. I mean, if we knock him out. The, it's any two, do seven's a call here. We have to go for the bounty. Good luck to the Jack Five. Oh my God, we have him crushed. We have him absolutely destroyed. Frick, let's go you guys. Scoop it with the Jack Five. $12.50. All right, we got a little, little something to celebrate on the stream today. I'm excited about it. We got a bounty in our biggest buy of the day. Let's effing go. Is my, why, do I, why do I have an alarm set for 9.08 p.m.? Great price, 6.7 to 1, calling with the ace 3. Kind of can be dominated sometimes, but flop an ace. If he bets here, I'm not thrilled about it. This guy can, I mean, he checks. I don't know if he's checking ace king, ace queen, ace jack multiple way. So I feel pretty comfortable with my, with my hand. And this guy can have anything. He's playing 58% of hands. Uh, so we're definitely calling here. Oh, yes. Fuck yes, that's a good turn. Excuse my language. Now we are going to lead. There's a chance it's going to go check, check, check. Man, is he going to bet this turn? Oh, let's check. All right. Shove? No, we want to get paid. Runner, runner, flush, obviously a thing, but uh, all right. Oh my god. How do we not go broke? If someone shoves and there's a reshove, we're folding, but as soon as we get to late position, this is the nuts, you guys. Good luck. We're 12 away from the money. We're still so far. They're shoving six bigs on the bundle. If he reshoves, we are going with this hand here. Ace eight, multi way. 
We can't fold. Ace four and queen three, we are ahead. Can we hold? That's a queen. Uh, we need an ace or an eight, and that's not gonna happen. GG there for $45. We got in pretty good. They flopped top here in a flush row. What can you do? Good game there for $45. Let's not cry. We just got aces here, you guys. Oh my god. Cold four bet is not an option. It gets way too many folds. This has to be a call, and I know we're going to go multiple ways, but the thing is they're shallow, so it's not we're going to see too many big situations. So we are going to slow play the aces here. He's so He has such a good hand here, though, with that 3-bet. We're just shoving. We don't know what to do. We panicked. Oh, we don't. We had no clue what. It worked! Hold! We had no clue what to do, so we just shoved. And we got our time bake down to $1. Please hold for a massive stack in the bounty builder. Please find a call. They're both going to have Ace King. They're going to be drawing stone dead. He folds queens. They show tens. We're a huge favorite. That's a good flop. For a big stack in the tournament. No! You're out! I hate this game. Oh, stop. I hate it. Appreciate the love, you guys. What an awesome stream today. Four caches. Obviously, my heart is uh, sick fold by the queens, though, by the way. But if, if we just shoved, he's like, anyway. <laughs> Mother trucker. Uh.